Now, this is arguably the cheapest, bestest lens that you can get for your camera. It is the 50mm 1.8 from Sony, but you can also get the 50mm 1.8 from Nikon, Canon, Fujifilm, any, but the uh, the kind of like, it's not a kit lens, but I think it's almost like a rite of passage when you start getting into photography is to get a 50mm 1.8. I'll link this one below. It's it's fantastic. Now today, we're going somewhere quite exciting. The UK Shooters and the UK Portrait team are setting up a event here in London. Uh, basically, they've got a bunch of awesome models in an awesome location. We're gonna go there, we're gonna go and check it out. I'll leave a link to the teams, Portrait, Shooters, they're all kind of the same thing anyway, but I'll link everyone below. Go and check out their work. Now, amongst all of them, they're incredible photographers, videographers, creatives, and I highly recommend that you go and check them all out. And this video wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for this event. So I'm excited to show you some of the photos that I've got with this. Let's go and do a POV and see how it goes. Now, the reason I'm using the 50 mil is because, like I said at the beginning, I want people to realize that you can just, no matter what gear you have, we can all agree that the 50 mil is probably the cheapest lens that you can use get a shot of Tori over here as well. Uh, Big shout out to Con over here doing his thing. Yeah, we're trying to plan the next uh, pose. We're trying to Who you, do you know what model you're going to use? Yes. Tori. <laughs> of course. Okay, so there's a bit of stuff going on up here with a uh, pool table. So we're going to see if we can get a shot of that as well. Oh, I know you. Oh, hi. I know you. I'm How are you? You're Sam. Yes, that's me. Yeah, hi. How are you? So, as you can see, everyone's getting the shot over there. I'm going to go back round to the other side. Oh, really? And go the other side. I'm super short, but I'm thinking if I can get up on here, take the bag off. Same way, mate. And see if I can shoot through. Through the window, I just need that dude to move. Oh, I think we've got... Yes, Simon, we all know. If you want, I can borrow a couple nah, of... Nah, nah. <laughs> 320 per second, f1.8, ISO 500, shooting through the window. Are you heading? I've got to go good to, to London you. now. Right. Have a good day. Okay, so we're going to get a shot here. Kind of like a traditional diner shot. I think if we go, that's probably the best angle here. Okay, the shot over here I can get with this dude. The lighting's really nice, so we jump behind everyone. Right. Trying to get down a little bit, kind of get some bokeh behind him. should be golden. I want to get some more like neon stuff because these shots are really good but I just want, I don't know, I want some maybe neon stuff down here. Okay, if I jump in front here and go maybe here. Okay, so the frame that I'm using is I'm shooting through this kind of like glass to get a double exposure and the red is kind of shining on this really nice. Tori doing anything? Sorry, I don't want to bang 
sign in the background looks really sick happy with the shots that we're getting um we've all been like pushed down to this area now so hopefully we can get some more stuff although it's crowded and obviously everyone's kind of getting the same shot it's still really good to be able to one practice two network three just socialize in general and there's like food and drink and everything here so it's just yeah it's, it's such a nice vibe oh the lighting here is really nice right and that'll be the last shot that we're gonna get Let's jump into the hashtag and see what you guys have been shooting over the last couple of days. It's been super sick to come here and chill out with everyone, shoot some content, meet up with the UK shooters and the UK portraits team. So thank you to them, big shout out to them. We'll talk about them again a little bit in a minute. Now, I think you will agree the photos turned out incredible considering this is, well, I think it's like 150 pound or it, it's a cheap lens, right? And I think when you're going to these types of events, I think it's very good to keep in your mind that one of the reasons or the main reason to go to an event like this is to socialize, network, and to practice. Now, on top of that, yes, you can ask your peers about the gear that they're using, but today there was a, a company called mpb.com that were there, which was sponsoring the event with the UK shooters, um, and they were allowing you to rent the gear. So if you wanted to maybe inquire about, uh, a, say, a specific lens you wanted to try, or a camera or anything, you could head over to the, the team and speak to them, and they would help set you up with the gear that you were looking for. So these types of community events are incredibly helpful and uh, shout out to the, the team at UK Shooters for putting this on because firstly, it was great content, you saw the photos, and secondly, made some great connections myself, speaking with other photographers and creatives. So if these events are going on in, in London or whatever they are, they may not even be by the UK Shooters. I highly recommend that you go to any of them in your local area, be it here in the UK or wherever you live, because they are key to growing your your creative journey. So let's jump into the hashtag and see what you guys have been shooting over the last couple of days. Okay, so the hashtag is up to 288,000 posts. We're on the most recent, so we're gonna do a scroll and a refresh, and we're just gonna go down and select a couple and, and show you the photos that kind of catch my eye. This one here caught my eye straight away, nice skateboarding shot from Syndicate Photography. And going down, nice street shot here. Love that, great shot. And then we'll go down a little bit more. Let's go with, that's a really cool long exposure shot. Rate that a lot. And then we'll go with, do, 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 like the landscape shot. Wow, look at the mountains. Um, oh God, I'd love to go back to, back to mountains and see some mountains. When was the last time you saw some mountains? Years ago. And let's go with this one. Nice street shot again. Very rainy. Um, and whoa, love the colors in that. Really love the colors. And we'll do, let's do like three more. Um, do, 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 do. Let's go with oh, that architecture shot as right. I've been really liking architecture photography lately. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's like the simplistic shot of it or something. So I don't know. I've been liking it recently. I'm not entirely sure why, but I just have. And two more. That's a dreamy vibe. Looks very filmic. Looks like a film. Love that. And the last one will go with this one. Nice portrait shot. It's very on topic for today, obviously, with the portrait shooters meet up. And uh, loving that. Now, everyone is linked below. If you'd like to go and check them out, highly recommend that you do. Um, and with all that being said, create more stress less and let me know what you think of the editing of the photos in this video because they are a new um, color preset that I've created for myself. 
Also, if you would like that, let me know in the comments whether or not I should put that up for sale for maybe, I don't know, a couple of quid or something. Let me know if you'd like it. If you like it, let me know. Comment below and yes, I will see you tomorrow.